Just flip. Just lay Too back. Much. No, lay back. Lay back. Lay back. Lay back. You're not gonna go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then here you go. Come into the light. What are you watching over there? Well, here you go. This is my next destination here in San Joaquin. This is the Garin Farm. And I'm gonna be staying here for the night. You can see here's their prices. Oh, look at this. Isn't this so beautiful? So, if you are staying the night, you get to drive up. If you're not, well, you got a little walking to do, and I think they have some vans. But look how beautiful this is. So gorgeous. So they have different rooms here. Those ones, I'm not sure what they're called, but I believe they're the smaller rooms. And then they have the bigger ones over here that have their own gardens. And I think this is a fish pond of some sort. It's a little low right now because, uh, you know, we're having a lot of drought. So using of too much water might be a problem. But it is really beautiful. Wait till you see these rooms. I am going to go over here and I have to check in at the restaurant. I just drove up here. And, oh, well, I'll walk back down. It's so beautiful here, though. You all know, probably many of you anyway, why the Garen Farm is already famous. But we, we will discuss that soon. First, let's just get checked in. And uh, yeah, I want to use the pool too. It's so hot. Have some lunch. Yeah, this place, this place is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Not my first time here. Definitely not. Hello. Uh, all right, so I got to find Emmy or Jean. Those are the two people that are running um, the check-ins. Yeah, that's the rooms over there. I never stayed, stayed here before. Only came to visit and that's it. So this is gonna be good. Hello? Is there Emmy or Jean? Yes, sir. Who am I meeting? Emmy? All right, I'll come over there. Good afternoon, good afternoon. So who who is uh, Emmy, who is Jean? I'm Emmy, I'm Jean. Yay, yeah. we found you, fantastic, I'm checking in. Okay, got my room key now, room number five. Um, look at the beautiful view from up here. Got the sea there. Beautiful San Joaquin, then you got Mia Gawa and Gimbel. And there's the pool, as you can see. There's nobody hanging out there yet, so I'm gonna have to deal with that real soon. But I think I need to go get a friend. Yeah, then enjoy the pool and the restaurant with. Uh, let's see, how about a fan favorite? I don't know if she's available. I'm gonna find out. I think you guys will remember her. Let's see if she's available. Then I'll show you. I love how they do this on their sidewalks so that you actually have shade when you go for walks on a hot day like today. Sun's on an angle, but my head's at least in the shade. Okay, here's the room. Are you ready? Room number five. Now, right now, these curtains are closed to help with the wind, obviously, or I mean the sun, sorry, not the wind. We'd love the wind, um, but as you can see, it's actually really nice in here. Look at all the mirrors. Um, the windows, you have your own little private um, garden here. And I believe this slides open. Yeah, over there, there's a sliding uh, window. So if you want to hear, um, you know, the sounds of nature in the cooler months, I'd probably guess I wouldn't open it otherwise. But yeah, you have your own little private garden. And then of course, the view out to the rest of the resort. Uh, come in the rainy season and everything's so green. Right now you got a lot of brown, but that's okay. It's really, really pretty here. Uh, there's so much to do in Garen Farm, actually. So yeah, you got TV in the corner here. 
you know, you got a little setup here with the kettle and all the cups and everything, just a little desk. Plus, I, I, you know, got my own table here. And the CRs are pretty decent here too. You know, the, this place is quite old, uh, the Garen Farm. And so, to see that it's very well maintained, you got the hot water heater, nice shower, everything, is a good thing. So I seen this room last year, never stayed in it, they just gave me a tour, and I thought, you know what, I'm my way back from NTK. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check out the amazing video. It's gonna break your heart, it's gonna touch your heart, and it's gonna be amazing. And when I say break your heart, I mean, it's gonna break your heart and then you're gonna just be full of smiles and happy tears, that kind of thing. So you'll, you'll my, one of my most favorite things that I've ever done while I'm being in here in the Philippines. So anyway, I thought I'd stop here on the way back to Iluilo. So, all right, let's have some fun. Who it is? Who is it? Cat. Yeah, it's cat. <laughs> it is cat. Yes, it is cat. So, uh, fan favorite. You know how many people ask for your social media cat? Lots. And I keep telling them, sorry, she doesn't want, yeah. She likes her privacy. She doesn't want to start a YouTube yet and have her own vlog, that kind of thing. Anyway, are you excited for the pool? Yes. All right, all right. She's been here. She lives here, so. She's been here three times to Garen Farm, so it's not her first time here. But you never used the pool yet, have you? I used. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and look, the doves are all out. They just did the feeding. We missed it by a few minutes. By the time we got in, as soon as we uh, grabbed the towels, and all the doves were all called over. We missed them. But they're hanging out. Just chilling out. The kids are chasing them everywhere. All right, so, I guess we'll, uh, I don't think they're serving right now down at the pool, so we have to uh, eat first. But yeah, look how low the water is right now. Normally the boats are in, but it's not the best time for that. So yeah, they ring the bell and then they all come running, flying, they don't run. At least there's shade right now. Earlier, I couldn't imagine all the people climbing up those stairs in this heat. I was like, I'm going tomorrow morning. That's, that's when I'm going. Not, not that, uh, not this heat. No way, no way. I wouldn't make it, I would die. All right. Let's go on over here. we we'll order some food. We've got an awesome breeze, so not complaining at all. This is really, really nice. It's quite, pa quite packed here. It's very, very busy. There's a lot of people. And then I just realized, well, it's Sunday. Where else would you go for a pilgrimage to a cross than on a Sunday? It makes sense. It makes sense. All right, Kat, what are we going to eat? What do you got? Mango shake. You want a fork and a spoon with that, or...? confusing her. Uh, no, I meant food. You want any food? No. You want a mango shake or buko shake? shake? Oh, there is no buko. Okay. So the mango. There's a corn shake. Corn. Can you imagine eating corn? I guess you would because like in Hollow Hollow they have corn and I always thought that was strange but they do. Completely sold out of uh, mango shakes. What are you watching over there? She's watching a show. Anyway, so they have pineapple shakes, which is more like a pineapple slushy right here, right? Like a slushy? Wow, that's just all pineapple. Oh, wow, that's so good. I wasn't expecting that. Woo! Oh, wow, I just woke up. I just woke up. And since we're going to be eating, when, as soon as the sun goes down, uh, like six o'clock, um, we're going to eat light. So I got ham, uh, cheese, egg, and ham, and they put them on each layer, which is interesting um, because usually I like a little less bread. So I'm going to go a lot less bread. <laughs> Her 
her diet's done. Pants at Molo is massive. Absolutely massive. It's good diet food, you know? Because it's soup. Plus it's Pants at Molo, which is friggin' delicious. It's one of my most favorite soups, I gotta tell you. And it's not just because I live in Iloilo, where Molo is. But it is, it is super nice. I love it. It's like a, a pasta meatball soup. That kinda sort of. If I were to describe it to somebody who's never had it before, that's how I would describe it. You like Pants at Molo? Well, more clear actually. You know what I like? I like this. This is good. I'm going to the pool and finally, sun is, uh, well, it's still got a while to go. With the trees though, they'll be giving us a little bit of shade, I hope. There's the goat house down there. You know, if you're into goats. Are you into goats? That's my neighbor. That's your neighbor, the goat house? <laughs> yeah, your neighbor has lots of goats. You have neighbors that have cows too though. I like cows, goats, I like them all. Take off your footwear. Come on now. Oh, I think they just mean, where are you going? Going to the side of the pool. Well, I think it's perfect because the sun is now below. It's not really hitting the water anymore. That's good. A few minutes ago it was really bad here. Yeah, it's not even close to cold. It is a warm, it's like a bathtub. What do you think? Nice. You're so quiet all the time. I don't think anybody ever can hear you. You don't know how to float? <laughs> wow. It's crazy to think there's like hundreds upon hundreds of people here right now. They're all up at the top of the cross and down to the restaurant, down at the base, stuff like that. And nobody's, nobody's using the pool on a hot day. I don't know. How crazy is that to climb up in this heat today? Oh, that's... That's a rough one, but the fact I have that shade on both sides right now, it's a perfect time to go up, I guess. But first thing in the morning, it's gonna be the best time. Thank God. <laughs> I was trying to see if you were gonna float. I don't know how to float. You still don't know how to float? No. All right, hang on. Okay. Just float, just lay Too back. Much. No, lay back, lay back, lay back, lay back. You're not going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm floating you, basically. Mm -hmm. She'll figure out how to swim. One way or another. Trainer. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna, he's going to train her. Well, it's pretty beautiful here. The sun just set over the mountain. Got to go get some food now. It's been great. It's been great. Uh, I think she has to be back at some point, but I don't know. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hi, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, so tomorrow morning, sunrise, boom, drone. Oh, look, it's all lit up right now, though. All right, well, maybe, maybe when we get back, we can put the drone up there. So it's like a battle here to get the buko juice. Ever since we arrived, there have been people lined up for this buko juice. So if you don't know, coconut juice, delicious. And uh, only 40 pesos, so less than 80 cents. Nice. Look at that. All right, cat, remember to bow, even though you can fit. There you go. That's the whole point of it. You have, everybody has to show dignity by bowing. Wow. I never realized how nice it is to come at night. We've got Noah's Ark here. So they have the Stations of the Cross that go all the way up. There's different stations at each level. So you basically, you won't get too exhausted climbing 
that huge staircase. Good morning, everybody. Wow, that was such a peaceful night. Um, they keep the lights on till about 10. The people are gone by 8, I guess, about 8 o'clock. And wow, the place gets so peaceful. I didn't hear a rooster. I didn't hear a dog. I heard nothing. It was just so peaceful. The doves, every once in a while, I hear, my, I hear them cooing or whatever they make. Um, I went for a walk all over this place. And because it's a Sunday night, and they don't have that many rooms here. I think I was the only person anywhere. There was no one else here, but you could go for walks and it's all lit up. It was really good. And uh, really peaceful place. Really amazing, wow. I stayed up and edited it, and then I realized there's no Wi-Fi here, which is probably why they want you to just enjoy the nature, enjoy you know everything they have out, laid out here. Um, it's fine. It's fine. I'll upload it as soon as I get home. I'm not that far from home. And uh, yeah, the bed was comfortable. Everything. Everything was good. I was very happy. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. You'll enjoy this place. You will absolutely enjoy this place, especially once all the public leave. But first thing this morning, there's lots of people. So many vans and so many um, golf carts full of people and everything because, well, we woke up and it's hot. It is so hot this morning. I can't believe it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's still absolutely beautiful here. So anyway, I highly recommend it. I'm going to get up to the top there and I got to show you. I got to show you why so many people every single day, even now on a Monday morning, are packing this place in to go and see what's at the top. Okay, so as you're going in, you have to actually uh, bow down in order to get in. So humility is the key to eternity. And so they made it so that all would have to bow, as we showed when uh, Kat was visiting yesterday. And first off, we already saw last night uh, was this. By the way, this looks absolutely amazing at night. You really want to come here uh, in that evening hour, even if you've been here during the day. It's like a completely different experience when you come at night. It was just so beautiful. Everything is so lit up and wow. I, I just can't even put the words to it because it's one of those things that not even the camera is really gonna show you. It just has a way better experience to it. So like I said uh, yesterday, it's not that hard to do these stairs if you stop at each station. Now right now there's no shade. So uh, it could be quite hot, obviously, but if you take your time and stop at each one, I'm already at the first station. Nativity, the birth of Christ. Yeah, you can tell right now that during the night, 
it's just a whole other experience. This was so incredible to look at at night. I, I, would, I would even say better than uh, how it looks here during the day. Because it's really pretty. You gotta experience it all for yourself, obviously. Like I said, I've been here with uh, the whole tour. I filmed all of this before on my previous channel. And so this time I wanted to make it a little bit different by staying overnight. And showing you what it's like to stay here. Oh, I'll go up this side here. Hi there. Hello, how are you guys? Go. That's a lot of work. Agony in the garden. Oh my. Oh my. Look at the scene here for the crucifixion. Wow. Also very in depth too. Well, I made it all the way up, but oh my goodness. That whew, and the mid sun like this or, oh my gosh, that's hot. That is hot. You can see here people donated. All of their rosaries. They have pictures hanging from them and everything. Even some coins. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up the last few steps here. So here's the other side of the cross, but you're going to see it's going to get better. Let's go to the meditation tunnel. The good thing is, is you get up here, you're dying for water, don't worry. So I have a canteen, they can sell you water. Oh. Okay, maybe not. I thought they sold water or something. So I think this is to get your pupils ready for the darkness so that they can really show you something like that. Even the camera is not picking it up. It is incredible. I'm going to have to get much closer so you can get a good idea and see if the camera can even get this kind of exposure. There we go. Wow. And that's just the sun, by the way. There's no light back there. And then here you go, come into the light. And here is the true come into the light moment. This will be the brightest area you have ever seen in your life. It is the purest white you can imagine. It takes constant maintenance here to keep everything as white as possible. Isn't this incredible? Much more, like you said. Whole different experience if you come at night as well.
back to the real world here. Back to the world, I should say. So there we go, guys. Absolutely incredible. Mid-afternoon, late afternoon, I should say, late afternoon. Catch the shade. Um, super early in the morning, which I did not catch. Um, obviously, you'll have the sun will be below because the sun rises over there. And so you'll have a little bit of time because it is on a mountain. But by 8 o'clock, something like that, 7 or 8 o'clock, it's already too late. Now the sun's up. Um, so we're not going to get any shade this period of time. So, you know, it's a lot of people brought umbrellas cover right up. But no, there's no problem. They just made it. Down is a lot easier than up, though. Another great thing about staying here overnight is I can now go shower and change my shirt, drink some water, relax in the air conditioning before I head back to Iloilo. Okay, checking out. And uh, I don't know if I missed anything from that other time. No, I, there is like, they used to have, but I don't think they're running it anymore. They used to have, uh, what do you call that? Why is my brain blanking on this? They used to have zip lighting. It goes all the way across. Uh, but I don't think they do it right now. Look at the doves, they're just hanging out here. I think I missed another feeding. And they're totally not afraid of people, as you can see. If you just move slowly, they totally don't move. How cool is that? They're just so used to people feeding them. Children, however, they're terrified of children. <laughs> children chase them like crazy. All right, let's go say goodbye. Hello, everybody. Hello. Time to check out. Thank you so much for everything. It was so nice here. It was wonderful. Oh, my goodness. And at night, it's a whole other experience. So if people have been here during the day, they need to also come at night because it's so much different. Hey, listen, listen. We keep running into each other. Huh? That's live Philippines. Yeah. Close, close, but I like it, I like it. It's, I'm okay with that. Uh, we, we've seen them in Gimbal also, so. All right. Well, back to you, Luilo. Thank you so much for joining, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. We'll see you again soon. Thank you, bye-bye.